Uh, he said he doesn't write about uh, how the cop works the case. He writes about how the case works the cop. It was about those human beings, and you were involved in their lives, and you wanted to see how they would handle the difficulties that, that, that their lives brought. The atmosphere of authenticity, I think, has to do with the intensity of imagination which the creative uh, personality invests into the effort to bring the world alive. If there's a God, he wants us to tell the truth. And if there isn't a God, it's that much more important to tell the truth. If you want to have a good look at, uh, at a society, the first place I would look is the police culture, the behavior of the police in that specific society. My movie is about how do you adjust to war in a day-to-day -day basis. You go to war at night and then you take your kids to school. That exists in Rio, it doesn't exist here. So it's a different world. My movies are critiques of cops. My movies are about corrupt and violent cops that systematically torture to capture drug dealers. When I wanted to make a documentary about that, I quickly realized that uh, you know, one of the good things about a film for me is that if you survive making the film, it's better than if you die making the film. So that's why I moved to fiction. <laughs> I was shooting a scene where the elite squad was torturing a woman to find a drug dealer. And I told the first AD, uh, you know, this is going to go wrong because someone from the elite squad will come down and will stop the scene. I told you. So I went there and I said, you know, I'm sorry. And the guy says, no, don't be sorry. You're torturing her the wrong way. You have to put, and they sort of, they literally explained to me how it's, uh, how the torture is. Well, he was, he was trying to top the car chase. And uh, it had really nothing to do with, with the book. The reason that he went the wrong way was, it was like a mistake. Uh, because that was the only way he could rent the freeway for that one day. So that had to be thrown in there. Gun kooks write to me all the time. You know, when I make a mistake, a, an error in something, safety's wrong on the gun, I get 3,000 letters from people telling me I'm stupid. Part of the, the best fun for me is to make up bad guys because I get to live through the bad guy and do all the crazy kooky things that my good guys can't do. When I start, I never know what the story is going to be about. And so I'm very grateful for the hospitality of, of television as a medium.